Well, here's little finished Pippa. And so we have a foundation brewing. She did have fleas. And so she scratched herself over here and on the other side and sort of cut the hair. But we're building a foundation for her coat. And so basically for two hours, I plucked everything out by hand with these on my right hand too, but I'm holding the camera with my right hand. And she's going to be a year old in two weeks. And her tolerance for this is not what it will be. Um, so I'm working slowly with her. Um, she had to have a break. <clears throat> and the hair on her head is quite fragile. Pippa, you can see in between her eyes that it's very soft hair. And so I didn't go crazy plucking it all out. Um, I didn't want her to get super red. Um, and I know that it will grow in. I'll come back in a month. And then we just build on it. So I'm building the shape now. And it takes time. Hand stripping is a process. But I love her saddle. And she will grow into quite a beautiful little girl once she learns to accept hand, hand stripping and plucking. And Pippa, no biting, right? Yes, she likes to, to snap <laughs> to let me know that this is not her favorite activity. But she's learning. So I go slowly, patiently, Pippa. And we're just in the beginning phases of creating a beautiful hand strip coat. And it takes time and patience and regular stripping. I really believe that. I don't uh, strip dogs completely to nothing and denude them. I create um, three dimensional. Uh, fabric, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, here we go. Pippa, I'll see you in a month. And she was a very, very good girl. And her hair will start to grow. Hopefully by Christmas this will all be evened out. You see she had fleas here and scratched herself silly. But that'll grow in. And she was a very, very good girl. She's a beautiful little Norwich Terrier. I don't think she's going to grow much bigger. Very diminutive. I just think she's darling. And she's learning to be polite and obedient on the table. Thank you, Pippa. Pippa.